Hello everyone, my name is Hush and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI Assistant app in Flutter. And in this video, we will start designing the home screen for AI Assistant app. So now as you can see, there is a title here called as AI Assistant. Uh, there is an icon which changes the theme of the application so we will implement the functionality later but for now as you can see there are three cards here uh, one is simply this waving hand okay which is AI chatbot so I have already downloaded the Lottie for it this is AI hand waving dot JSON so you can just simply go to Lottie files and download any Lottie you like and if you want my Lottie then you can just download it from my github Okay, and after that there is AI image creator and language translator. So we will design this upper app bar as well as this card in this video. And in the next video, we will use the extended concepts of enum to design these three cards. Okay, so let's just get started. So as you can see, the application is up and running and there is simply this welcome to home screen. Now what I want is I want to create an app bar. So simply we can use app bar and here app bar widget and we can provide a title to it okay so simply text and we can provide any title we like first we need to remove const from here and actually my title is same as my app name so i'm just using that okay and if i just press Control save you will see this ai assistant now the thing is i want this title background color to be white and i don't want this much of elevation so what i can do is i can make elevation to zero and I want the title in center so center title to true and since I want the background color to be white so colors dot white I can use and now as you can see we are not able to see anything one more thing I'm just increasing this elevation to one so I can see a line like this and after that uh, we need to give some style to this text so it can be visible so simply text style and I want its color to be colors dot blue and after that let's say font size i want it to be 20 and if i press ctrl save it looks decent and simply this font weight i want it to be let's say font weight that medium one that is weight 500 and okay and now we can add a const keyword here for now and the next thing is action button so we want to show a brightness change button here okay so simply here action and i can use an icon button here and on press we will decide bit later and for icon I can use icon and simply icons dot brightness and you can see multiple icons are available here okay so actually I like this one or if you want you can use any one of them brightness for sharp so I am just using this rounded one and another thing this icon is not visible here because we have given a white color to the background so we need to give color to this one too so simply colors dot black for now and another thing I want to give some size to it let's say 26 by default it is 24 but I want it to be a bit bigger now as you can see some color is showing here now rather than black I want it to be blue okay and it looks decent to me and another thing it looks too attached to the screen so what I can do is I can use an attribute called as padding in this icon button and we can use padding dot only and I want it to be from right side and let's say for now 10 and it looks decent to me. So we just designed the app bar. Now we need to design the home card. So what I will suggest is I will create a separate widget for home card. So simply a new file and I will call it home card dot dot and simply inside this import material widget simply material dot dot and simply stateless and this will be our home card okay and inside this home card what I will use is a card and inside that card I want a row okay because I want to place a text and a lottie animation and inside this home screen uh, I will just remove this stuff from here and what I will use is I will just use a list view here for now and inside this inside the children I can use home card and just import the home card widget and simply const keyword and save now you can see nothing is showing here because we have nothing in this home card widget so what I can do is I can use a lottie here so lottie dot and we need to import the lottie first a set and inside this we can give the path of the lottie that we want to load so in my case this is AI hand waving 
dot json and simply press control save and as you can see it is showing me an overflow error because this lot is just big too big now what i can give is i can give a width to it so mq dot width and i want the width to be let's say 0.35 which means 35 percent of the screen and we need to import the media query and control save now you can see it looks a bit decent and we also want to give color to this card so simply for now color and colors dot blue and if i just press ctrl save actually that's too dark so i am using opacity opacity which means we want to make it a kind of transparent and i am using 0.2 percent which means make it around 20 percent of transparency effect and okay it doesn't look that good because it is having some elevation here and i am making it zero and now it is looking a bit decent and it is just to attach it to the screen so what we can do is inside this home screen uh, i can use a padding inside this list view so edge insist dot symmetric and i can use horizontal so mq dot width asterisk 0 0.04 which means horizontally give 0.4 percent margin or we can say padding and if i press ctrl save uh, I can see some space here okay now the thing is I also want it from the top and the bottom so what I can do is I can use vertical here and mq dot height and let's say just for now 0.1 percent okay and if I just press ctrl save okay just decent or if I want I can increase to 0.15 percent okay now the next thing is let's move to our home card and I want this border to be more curved so for that inside this card uh, I can use a attribute called a shape and inside this there are multiple attributes but I want these rounded rectangular borders and we can give a border radius to it so border radius dot all and simply radius dot circular and inside this let's give me a value of 20 and you will see it is sufficiently curved if you want you can experiment with this value like 50 and you can see it just bit too curved for me 20 is ok and add a const keyword here and simply like this and now the next thing that we require is an actually a title ok so for that I will be using text here and that will be AI chatbot ok now this text is bit too small so what I can do is I can just go to my home screen and copy this text style from here just here and I can just paste it here and just a comma and I can change this color to black and if I press ctrl save and now this font size is a bit too much so let it be 18 and let me remove this color okay doesn't matter it will be by default black and after that I want to give some letter spacing to it let's say 0.5 and if I just press ctrl save uh, it looks okay okay if you want you can increase the letter spacing by one and you will see more spacing between the font and it looks also decent okay so simply like this if you want you can write it like this ai chatbot it's totally up to you and now what we want is i want a kind of a spacing here okay so what i can do is i can use a widget called a spacer for now and simply like this and if i just press ctrl save now you will see it moves to the end of the screen so i also want to add a spacer here but with a more flex like two which means give double the width you give to this and it looks decent to me in this case okay and if we want we can just add a const keywords and as you can see we have designed this card as well as we have also designed this app bar and in the next video we will learn about enum to create more cards here okay i don't want to just copy paste and create multiple of it okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then Bye-bye.